Welcome back. Start off with a few close up shots of the purple style of four. I originally thought something had, um, you know, blue legged crab had crawled on it, or something was irritating, or a fish, you know, swam too close, or one of the dwarf angels nibbled at it. But actually, periodically, it would just do this. Polyps will close in. So today is the 15th of the month, and I swap out the coconut carbon. So doing a quick video, I'll tear out the weight of this glass container. Need to refill my supply. I'm running low. Um, and I run mainly a Red Sea program. I do put my own spice on it uh, for the most part. Um, sometimes I underdose. So instead of dosing for, uh, what is it? Usually they have everything set up for, you know, per every 25 gallons. So I have a 75 gallon display. Technically there's 115 gallons or so of total water volume. Um, maybe closer to 100, like 110, 105, give or take. And certain things I will dose as if it's a 50 gallon like the powder alkalinity or ABC uh, plus uh, but for the coconut carbon what I actually do is um, just weigh out 75 grams normally I would split it and do like half in one seachem bag and half in the other and just kind of split it um, swapping out the carbon usually on the first or the 15th sometimes I miss it like I miss the first and so I'll catch it on the, the next go around which would be the 15th of the month um, so yeah I just weigh everything out I'll fast forward through some of this video and then we'll get that over into the funnel uh, which will go into the Seachem bag. Been using those for years. They work great. Um, zip tie it, do a quick rinse of cold water, and I'll take it back over uh, to the tank. Overall, everything went well. Uh, test once in the morning, I pull a water sample, and then I do another test around 8.45 ish. Uh, so 12.45 and 8.45 are my two times that I test the tank. Um, alkalinity came out consistent for both times, um, which is slightly unusual. Um, came in at 9.0 dKH approximately. So that's great news. Um, salinity is back up to 35.4 ppt. Um, so that's good. Temperature is still hovering around the 78.5. Uh, what else? Everything's doing well. Um, the 10 pound CO CO2 tank is slightly, um, pressure is starting to go down on that. Um, probably maybe halfway through that tank. I also tested nitrates and phosphates, which is unusual for Friday for me. And quick shot from... Uh, the top down, same actual coral. And one thing I did add with the nitrate and phosphate this time is the Red Sea um, high and low level testing. So the, the one to the far left is the low level, uh, excuse me, the high level nitrate. And so we'll take the bag of carbon over to the tank and down in a dirty sump, I am mainly focused on get it functional, then I'll work on wire management. I have some ideas. One thing I don't always talk about is the ATO system. So it is mounted inside the stand. Most of my equipment is uh, semi unmounted, mounted outside the stand. Uh, 
Here's a shot of the skim eight, switched it to a little bit more of a drier draw, and some close ups of the SPS in the tank. Thanks for watching. Welcome your subscribers.